Elon Musk's brain-computer interface company Neuralink is installing their devices called telepathy in human test subjects. Every minute of every day, these interfaces are expanding the science of neurology. You won't want to miss what Elon learned about neurology and how he plans to use it to restore vision with bionic eyes. In our previous videos, we talk about BCIs or brain-computer interface, particularly Elon Musk's Neuralink. Brain-computer interfaces or BCIs are cool tech that let us control computers with our brains. It's like mind power in action. Imagine seeing with a camera instead of our eyes or moving things just by thinking about it. Companies like Neuralink, supported by Elon Musk, are making this real. They've raised lots of money to develop these brain implants that could help restore vision and do amazing things. BCI have been studied for a while and they're getting better every day thanks to advances in science and technology. But before Neuralink installed their first BCI in a human, there was a company called Second Sight. Second Sight's Argus implant, known for its groundbreaking development of the Argus II retinal prosthesis, caught our eye because it worked to provide bionic vision to patients with vision impairments. The Argus II, approved by the FDA in 2013, was a significant milestone in the field of vision restoration technology. The way it functioned was quite ingenious. Patients would undergo a surgical procedure where a small electrode or chip was implanted onto their retina. This implant acted as a conduit for sending electrical signals directly to the brain, effectively mimicking the process of natural vision. To capture visual information, a camera was integrated into sunglasses worn by the patient. The camera would capture images, which were then processed into simplified visual representations by an image analyzer. These process signals were wirelessly transmitted to the implant on the retina, stimulating it to create a perception of vision. The introduction of the Argus II was a game-changer for individuals with blinding retinal conditions, offering them renewed hope for restored vision. However, despite its innovative capabilities, there were challenges that arose, particularly related to the financial aspect. The overall cost of surgery, implants, and subsequent rehabilitation services added up significantly, making bionic vision financially inaccessible for many patients. Unfortunately, in 2020, Second Sight faces a crisis. He personal departed leading to layoffs and financial instability, ultimately culminating in the company's declaration of bankruptcy. This sudden turn of events left patients with Argus II implants in a precarious situation as they were left without adequate support and technical assistance. Some encountered difficulties in accessing necessary medical procedures while others struggled with maintaining and repairing their implants without the necessary resources. This situation underscores the complex nature of introducing cutting-edge technology in the healthcare sector. While advancements like Argus II offer tremendous benefits and can positively impact patients' lives, it also necessitates for a comprehensive consideration of long-term support and sustainability. It's crucial to develop strategies that ensure ongoing assistance and accessibility for patients who rely on these innovative solutions for their well-being and quality of life. Elon Musk and his team and Neuralink are diving into the next generation of brain-computer interfaces, drawing inspiration from previous pioneers like Dr. Donahue, BrainGate, and Second Sight's Argus Implant. They recently showcased their progress in developing bionic vision at a Neuralink event. Neuralink's approach involves implanting a brain implant through neurosurgery. This process includes creating a hole in the skull or craniectomy, removing the protective brain tissue layer or dura, and inserting thin, flexible electrode threads into specific areas of the brain. These electrodes connect to a computer chip called the N1 chip, which is placed in the skull. This setup allows for bidirectional communication between the brain and the chip. One major advancement highlighted by Musk is the ability of Neuralink's technology to activate electrodes in precise patterns within the visual cortex. This concept is based on the retinotopic map in our brains, where specific regions correspond to different parts of our visual field. By stimulating these electrodes, Neuralink aims to create pixelated images even for individuals without natural vision. 
Now that the N1 chip is successfully implanted in your brain, the next step involves connecting it to a computer vision system. This system works by capturing video footage from a digital camera which is then wirelessly streamed to a smartphone. With advancements like Meta or Facebook smart glasses, it's possible to integrate digital cameras into stylish, regular-looking glasses. The video feed from these cameras is sent to your smartphone, which processes the information into a neural signal. This signal then wirelessly transmitted to the N1 implant into your brain. The N1 chip then sends electrical signals through the electrodes into your brain in specific patterns, allowing you to perceive the visual information around you. At a press conference, the Neuralink team shared a visual representation of what they aim to achieve with their visual prosthesis device. They showed a photo of a European street corner alongside a pixelated representation of the same image. While there are limitations such as lack of color and the pixelated nature of the vision, it's still an impressive demonstration of Neuralink's capabilities in providing computerized vision. Neuralink's technology brings several key advancements that set it apart from previous brain-computer interfaces. The first major improvement is the use of thin, flexible electrodes in a wireless interface instead of rigid arrays. Unlike traditional Utah arrays, where tiny electrodes can degrade over time or cause scar tissue formation, Neuralink's flexible wires can be strategically placed in the brain with enhanced precision. This minimizes signal loss or degradation, ensuring more reliable communication between the brain and the external device. Furthermore, the wireless interface allows for seamless data transmission without the limitations of physical connections. Unlike older models that relied on rigid metal chips connected to copper wires, Neuralink's design offers improved bandwidth. This means it can handle a larger volume of data, providing higher resolution feedback to the brain. For comparison, the Argus Retinal Implant had a limited resolution of 60 pixels, whereas modern high-definition screens boast millions of pixels, offering a much clearer and detailed visual experience. These advancements in electrode flexibility and wireless communication paved the way for more precise and robust brain-computer interfaces, enhancing the potential for restoring sensory functions and improving overall performance in user experience. To achieve a bionic vision system that closely mimic realistic vision, a significant expansion in bandwidth is necessary. The Neuralink team has introduced their brain implant chip, the N1 chip, capable of recording from 1,024 channels which is 10 times the bandwidth of the traditional Utah array. At a Neuralink event, they revealed plans for the next generation chip boasting an impressive 16,000 channels of bandwidth. Placing these chips on both sides of the visual cortex would provide 32,000 electrodes to convey visual information to the brain. This substantial increase in bandwidth means that the images generated by Neuralink's technology will be much sharper compared to those produced by the current 100-channel Utah arrays. Another significant innovation with Neuralink's technology is its wireless capability. Unlike previous brain-computer interfaces that required a wired connection to the skull, Neuralink's system operates wirelessly. This wireless feature, combined with the potential integration of the technology into stylish glasses and smartphones, expands its usability, allowing individuals to use it while on the move and engage in daily activities. Neuralink wants to keep improving its brain implants for the long run. They're thinking about new versions with better features. But changing brain implants can be hard because of scar tissue and surgery challenges. Neuralink is figuring out ways to make it easier for patients and doctors. Despite these challenges, Neuralink aims to aim more people with their technology. They want to change how we use technology and interact with each other. However, there are important ethical questions to consider. Having direct access to our thoughts raises concerns about privacy and control. These are important discussions as we move forward with such advanced technology. As we explore incredible advancements like Neuralink's brain implant technology, we're faced with a big question. What changes will happen when technology can connect directly to our thoughts? How will we handle these new developments? Only time will tell. If you like what you see, pun intended, give us a thumbs up or subscribe to see more.